welcome you all in 5 minutes information channel and this is episode number 43 and today I will discuss about the qualitative research. In this episode, I will discuss three main points about the qualitative research. Number one, what is qualitative research? Number two, what are the main characteristics of the qualitative research? And number three, what are the different types of the qualitative research design? So come to the point number one, what is qualitative research? Qualitative research involves collecting and analyzing non-numerical data to understand the concept, opinion, phenomena or experiences. It can be used to gather depth insight into a problem or generate new ideas for research. Qualitative research is commonly used in humanities, social sciences, subjects such as anthropology, sociology, education, as well as it can be used in business management, history, and library science, and etc. Now, the point number two. What are the main characteristics of the qualitative research? There are four main characteristics of the qualitative research. Number one, flexibility. Number two, natural setting. Number three, meaningful insight. And number four, generation of new ideas. So I will discuss one by one. Flexibility. The data collection and analyze process can be adopted new ideas or pattern merger. They not decide rigidly. Number two, natural setting. Data collection occurs in the real world context or naturalistic way. Number three, meaningful insight. Detailed description of people, experiences, feelings, perception can be used in designing, testing or improving the system or the product. And number four, generation of new ideas. Open-ended response from the respondent means the researcher can uncover novel problems or opportunities that they wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Now the question number three. What are the different types of the qualitative research design? There are six types of the qualitative research design. Number one, case study. Number two, ethnographic. Number three, grounded theory. Number four, phenomenological research design. Number five, narrative research design. And number six, action research. Now I will brief you definition of each type of research. So, number one, case study. Case study. Case study is a research method involve a close, in-depth, detailed examination of a particular case. Number two, ethnographic. Ethnography is a qualitative study of the social science interaction, behavior, perception that occurs within the groups, teams, organization, and communities. Qualitative means it's all about thoughts, feelings, and observation. Number three, ground theory research. Grounded theory is a systematic methodology that has been largely but exclusively applied to the qualitative research conducted by the social scientists. The methodology involves the construction of hypotheses and theories through the collecting and analysis of the data. Number four, phenomenological research. Phenomenology is the study of a phenomena, appearance of things as they appear in our experiences or the way we experience the things. Thus, the meaning things have in our experiences. Phenomenology study conscious experience as a experience from the subject of the first person point of view. Number five, narrative study. Nar number five, narrative research study. Narrative studies appears for the students for the development and evolution of original content of novels, film, theater, or other narrative platform, but recognize that the large professional opportunity 
in the literature, performing art is much wider than role of author, screenwriter and playwright. And the last, action research study. An action research or participative action research is a reflective process of progress of a problem solving led by individual work with other teams or as a part of the community of practice to improve the way they addresses the issue and solve the problem. Now here I conclude the episode number 43. I hope you will enjoy this video. In coming episode, I will discuss about the difference between the qualitative and quantitative research. So stay tuned with the 5 minute information and please subscribe my channel and don't forget like, comment. Thanks for watching. Thank you.